Okay, this is a Parrot AR Drone 2. I'm just going to go and show you how to go about doing all the firmware upgrades. So connect a fully charged battery to the unit. You'll quickly see that the unit does its normal startup test and the motors will all just on cue. We'll all do their little jiggle. Okay, so now this is broadcasting its Wi-Fi signal. This is an iPhone 4S. I'm now going to go into my settings. Now I always turn the iPhone 4S into airplane mode and then I actually reactivate and just turn on the Wi-Fi and that means I'm not going to get an accidental disconnection when somebody tries to phone me on my iPhone. So I'm now going to connect through the Wi-Fi to the AR drone. That's now selected and I'm going to bring up, let me just rotate it first, the AR drone free flight app. Now this is already updated to just the iPhone that is updated to the free flight 2.1.6 so I got this through the Apple App Store and it was a, a auto update etc what I'm just going to do now is to show you by connecting to the AR drone the uh, actual settings that are on there so let me just go to the pressing the cog you bring up the settings and what I'm going to do is to come across here and show you the various firmware versions I've got on the unit at the moment Okay, so I'm going to read these out a little bit. So currently I've got the AR Free Flight version 2.1.6, as I explained, that's on my iPhone 4S. The AR Drone hardware is 2.1, software 2.1.20, internal hardware 2.3, software 5.34, and all the four motors are all the same, type 1.1s, hardware 5.0s, and software 1.41. Now what I'm going to do is to actually do the, going back to the main screen, I'm going to actually go back to update AR drone update. Do apologize. Okay, it recommends that you have no USB key in the unit, so this is empty, so I can confirm that. I'm clicking OK. Now it obviously does all this from the iPhone for us, so you also want to make sure that you've got a, a well charged iPhone as well as a well charged Parrot AR drone. It's sending the file literally to the AR drone unit itself across the Wi Fi. Only takes a minute. Okay, it's now going to restart the AR drone. The front green LEDs have both gone red. All of them have gone red, I can see. Okay, it's still installing. But as you can see, this is only going to take a few minutes. But at least it gives you, shows you, and gives you some confidence exactly what your AR drone will do when you're performing this update yourself. Now, there's been some uh, noise and chat on the various chat rooms about uh, some of the older versions of the Parrot AR drone software, version 2.0.21 and 2.1.20 generally haven't been well received and a number of people have found problems with their uh, Parrot AR Drone 2 and dropping unnecessarily or unexplained from the sky. This latest version, 2.1.6 and above, uh, has a much better reputation and a lot of uh, users on the forums that I frequent are saying some quite good things about this. Okay, the AR drone lights have all gone off now. Still says installing. Okay, the AR drone lights have now blinked, so they went red temporarily and have gone off. They're now on. I'm going to put my hand down here just a little bit, maybe you can see some reflection off the backs of my fingers. I think you can just see that, so there's a red glow. Okay, just one motor at a time, this is interesting. So each one in turn is doing the normal jiggle that they do on starter. I've now got, as normal, green LEDs on the front and green LEDs on the back, which isn't so normal. Okay, it does actually say if AR drone LED is green, reset the Wi-Fi connection. So I'm actually going to try and just pop out of here and just check that I am connected to this device and I had actually switched over so I'm going to reconnect my Wi-Fi to the AR drone 
having very little success at the moment. Just turn my phone so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's now selected. Let's rotate that back again. Go back into the app. Let's just check all fields well. Okay, I'm going to go back into AR drone update. Okay, that's reassuring. So AR drone update, tap that, your AR drone is up to date. So I'm now going to go back into the piloting screen, connect to my AR drone. I'm going to scroll across again, all the way, just to check all the status and versions. And now I have, of course, the hardware is the same. I have now software 2.2.3 in here, software 5.34 in here. And the, obviously the motors, all four motors, I now have uh, 1.42, which is uh, interesting. So it's done a quite a comprehensive update. I'm now obviously going to go and fly this to, to give it a good test. There are some other options in 2.1.6 I'm keen to try out. One in particular are all these spins, so you've now got front, back, left, right flip orientation, so that's the... 360 flips up to now you've only had to do left and right and um, I'd like to see the front and backs um, I have gathered from some of the videos I've already seen that um, certainly the front and all the back video flipping uh, in video form sorry I've not actually watched it in real life any on videos can cause the AO drone to drop a little bit so I'm gonna make sure I've got a decent amount of height but nothing too crazy that should be quite interesting and uh, of course the latest version of software from um, Parrot, it's a lot more about sharing your videos and they've created a, a better user forum for sharing videos and comments etc and uh, Parrot seem to be much more active in supporting this product and the users at the moment from a certainly from a marketing and PR point of view anyway because they're now uh, posting regularly on things like Facebook and Twitter people's photos and people's videos so let's see if I can go and do something uh, quite fantastic and uh, whether I can get one of mine listed anywhere although I doubt it because I think there's a lot a lot more capable flyers and better flyers than certainly I am okay so that's giving you a firmer upgrade it took a few minutes had to reconnect the Wi-Fi after this reset once all four LEDs were green uh, and that was uh, I think about a three minute process all in all like I say fully charged battery iPhone 4 and AR drone before you start